What's up guys, we are over here on World Flipper to take a look at the co-op challenge weapons, the godly hermit weapons that are dropping into the game. From the time of recording this, we're going to be getting that event in like five hours. It's really, really soon. Just a way to upgrade our characters with these new armaments. I wanted to mention one more time before I hop into this, the last day for the giveaway is today. 400 of you guys, over 400 of you guys have joined that giveaway. So if you have not joined, link down below in the description. Join it for your chance at a $50 gift card, first, second, third, 50 bucks, Google Play, Apple, your choice. I'll just contact you once the winners have been drawn. Let me know what region you're in and then you will get the gift card just in time for Sarah's banner. So good luck. It's a thank you from me to you for all of your guys' support. We've got the Storm Horse Bow for the first weapon of the co-op challenge. This is going to be attained the same way as all the previous co-op challenges. Run co-op dungeons, get these as rewards. This is going to be a Thunder 5-star weapon, and it's if self is a Thunder character when combo count reaches 40, own attack up by 25% to a maximum of 150%. And then the 4-star for this co-op challenge event is a Pirate's Life for me. It's going to be the 4-star water weapon with the ability of when a character skill activates, own skill damage 12.5% up to a maximum of 150%, and then when combo is 30 you're going to get own skill gauge 20% up to three times. So these, like the prior co-op weapons, they're free. You just literally play co-op, which you're going to be doing, I assume, doing the Hermit Godly. You're going to be doing the co-op events to grind it out for free, conserving the stamina, get these rewards done at the same time. It just goes hand in hand with itself. With Sarah coming out, with Rudy already existing, the combo Thunder teams are going to be using weapons like this, boosting their attacks, combos go up. It's just all hand in hand with what's happening here. And then we've got this book here, which is going to be upping your skill damage to a maximum 150% skill damage when water character skill activates. So if you have like Rikisha on the team, you put this weapon on the team as well, you're gonna be activating your skills rather rapidly and it's going to slowly bump this up, especially since you're getting your own skill gauge up to 20% for 30 times when you hit that 30 combo. So this is a way to really enhance water skill damage. This is nice and then we're going to hop in now to the big water upgrades is what makes water just so much nicer. We've got the three godly weapons. We had the thunder ones. We upgraded our fever teams. It made thunder better in general. We're going to be using those weapons to go into this and destroy this boss. So we've got the claws of the deep as the first weapon here. These are all five star weapons as per usual with the godly upgrades. Has the ability of for every water character in the party own attack buff duration plus 5% to a maximum of 30%. If self is water character own attack plus 50% based on the number of attack buffs on self up to a maximum of 250%. And then we have the shell of the deep which is the next weapon with the ability of for every water character in the party water characters hp is going to go up 2.5 percent to a maximum of 15 percent while water characters hp is at or above 80 percent that character's fire resistance is going to go up 50 percent and then while water characters hp is at or below 50 percent that character's healings received will increase by 10 percent so as to be healthy with increased resistance you get weaker you get increased healing and then you're going to go back up and it's going to increase the hp of your whole team and then we have spot of the deep with the ability of for every water character in the party water characters poison and debuff damage is going to go up by 50 percent to a maximum of 300 percent and then water characters dealt direct damage to enemies with poison buff plus 150 percent so these weapons drastically upgrade water especially the claw and the spine like the claw you're getting attack up to 250 percent just on yourself and then you're increasing the durations of attack buffs and as you guys have used sonia as you have seen how Celine functions just units like that where they are gaining bonuses from being buffed they are using these buffs to increase their damage output and increase how many times they're hitting and then Celine is increasing the duration of these buffs and they're just extending this amount of damage these water teams can do and now you're getting something that's increasing it by such a drastic percentage it's going to be so nice to have something like this and the one I'm honestly most excited for is the Spine of the Deep. It's going to be increasing this poison, just water, poison, direct attack, water, poison, skill damage, just shenanigans. It's just, it's something that that team has needed so bad. And I've tried to make that team work the best I could without weapons like this. But now that they are coming, I'm very excited to kind of rebuild those teams and see what they can do. Now that they have these huge power spikes, I mean, 250% attack with the claw, 
you're getting the 300% against poison debuff damage. It's just, I am so excited to use these. I'm going to be summoning for Sarah tomorrow. And then once I do the Sarah summons, hopefully I can get Sarah without sparking her. I'll have those summons up tomorrow for you guys. And then I'll have a video up Tuesday for you guys of all the teams I'm using to take into this godly event. You can see them running, see how they perform against the new boss difficulty. And finally, I have a stream for tomorrow at five o'clock on YouTube and Twitch. I'm going to try streaming to both, see how that goes. We're going to be doing Shadowbringers, and I'm going to be grinding the godly boss there as well. So if you want to hop on by, join some co-op runs, I'll be running that pretty much the whole stream. Giveaway, link in the description below. Hop in, give your chance at those gift cards. Sarah's Banner is in like five hours, so I wish you guys luck. I will be contacting the winners very shortly once that timer ends. So thanks for stopping by. Hit the sub button if you're new. Lots of World Flipper content to come. Appreciate you being here. See you in the next video, guys. Peace.